the cow that laid an egg. Written by Andy Cutbill, illustrated by Russell Ato, read by Auntie Lee, and borrowed from the library. Marjorie the cow felt down in the dumps. What's wrong, Marge? clucked the chickens. I don't feel special, said Marjorie. I can't ride bicycles and do handstands like the other cows. I just feel so ordinary. That night, the chickens hatched a cunning plan. Cluck, 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 they whispered. The following morning, there was an almighty commotion in the barnyard. I've laid an egg, shrieked Marjorie. All the other cows were astonished. None of them had ever laid an egg before. Even the farmer came running. Oh my goodness, he cried. Marjorie's laid an egg. The farmer's wife called the local newspaper. People came from far and wide. We're extremely proud of Marjorie, announced the farmer to the crowd. Marjorie felt much more special now, and the chickens were as pleased as Punch, too. But the other cows weren't so happy. Our bicycle riding and handstands feel rather ordinary now. Something funny is going on. Cows don't lay eggs. Chickens lay eggs. We don't think you laid that egg, the cow said to Marjorie. We think the crafty chickens did it. Marjorie felt shocked. Prove it, said the chickens. So they all waited for the egg to hatch. Day after day they watched as Marjorie sat on the egg to keep it warm. But nothing happened. Until suddenly, one morning, they heard a noise. Tap, tap, tap. Here it comes, shouted one of the cows. And as Marjorie stood up, tap, tap, tap. The egg cracked open and out hopped a small brown feathery bundle. There, said one of the cows, nodding, a chicken. Suddenly, the tiny creature looked up at Marjorie. Moo, it said loudly. Marjorie smiled and held her baby tight. A cow, she said, and she promptly named it Daisy. Daisy.